The table below consists of 18 numbers. Find the percentile of the value 63. Okay, so let's recap the formula on how to find the percentile of a data value. We take the number of values below x, where x is our value, divide that by the total number of values, and multiply by 100. The key thing is that these uh, values need to be ordered from least to greatest. And in this case, they are. They're ordered from least to greatest. Uh, we got 17, 20, 22, 27. So going left to right, they are from least to greatest. And that's really important. If they're not ordered from least to greatest, you can, um, there, there is a number sorter that is embedded within the, the problems. Um, you can also go to the calculators page for our class, which is saxstats.weebly.com, as you can see up here. And then under other calculators, you can see that there's a link for the number sorter. We would copy and paste the numbers, go to sort now. They'll be listed from least to greatest. But in this case, we don't have to worry about that because they are listed from least to greatest. So let's count the number of values that are below x. In, in this case, our x is 63. So we want to find the number of values below 63. Then we need to divide that by the total number of values. So um, we know we're given here that the total number of values is 18. So we divide that by the total number of values, and then we multiply that by 100. So how many values are below 63? Now we don't count 63. We strictly count the number of values below 63. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So again, not counting 63, we only count the number of values that are below 63. We have 15 values that are below 63. The total number of values is 18. And then we're going to multiply that by 100 to convert that to a percentile. You can use your own calculator if you'd like. Um, there's also a really good calculator on the calculators page. Desmos calculator, you can just go to desmos.com. And this is very quick and easy to use. So I'm going to take 15 divided by 18. That's 0.8333. Multiply by 100 and we get 83.33%. Okay, so if you put this into, into the calculator, we're going to get uh, 0.8333 times 100, and that'll be 83.33. Percentiles are always rounded to the nearest whole number. So for rounding, we're going to round to the nearest whole number. For percentiles, the nearest whole number here would be 83. So 63, this represents the 83rd percentile. Now, what does that mean? If, we, if I take all the values here and list them from least to greatest, so this is 17, that's our smallest value, our largest value is 70. Uh, 63 is going to be about, about there. 63 represents the 83rd percentile. What that means is that 83% of values are going to be below 63, and if you take 100 minus 83, that's 17, 17% of values will be above 63. And 63, this serves as a cutoff point for the bottom 83rd percentile from the top 17th percentile. Here's a sample data set. Note that the data is arranged from least to greatest, going left to right. Um, and we want to find Q1, which is the 25th percentile. Okay, so let's uh, have a quick recap of how to find the value corresponding to a percentile. We're going to use something called the locator index formula, which is given by K over 100 times N. You can also find this in your notes for section 2.3, where K represents a percentile and the N represents the total number of values. So, in this case, we want to find the 25th percentile. For this part, you, we want to find Q1, which is the 25th percentile. And keep in mind, we can also write this as P sub 25. So in our case, our K is going to be 25. K is the actual percentile. And N is the total number of values. 
So how many values do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a total of 54 values. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and plug this into our formula. Our formula is going to be this. L is going to equal to K, which is 25, divided by 100 times N, which is 54. So once again, you can use your favorite calculator. If you don't have a calculator, you can just go to desmos.com and use this. Um, we have 25 over 100 times 54, and that is going to be 13.5. So our locator index is going to be 13.5. Now remember, this is not your answer. This is just your locator index. But what do we do if our locator index L is a decimal? You always round up. Even if this was like 13.1, for the locator index formula, we ignore our normal rounding rules and you always round up. So 13.5, that's going to get rounded up to the 14th location. So we got to figure out what is our 14th location. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Our 14th location is going to be 390.5. So the 25th percentile is going to be 390.5. The next part says find the 75th percentile. So 75th percentile, uh, that means our Q3 or 75th percentile or P sub 75. So if you plug this into our formula, um, our K is going to be 75 and our n is still going to be 54 because we want to find the 75th percentile. So our locator index is going to be given by 75 over 100 times n which is 54. So let's go ahead and take plug this into the calculator. We have 75 over 100 times 54 and that's going to give you 40.5 as our locator index. Okay, our locator index is going to be 40.5. Now, up here it says if L is a decimal, those are our rules, we're always going to round up. So 40.5, that's going to get rounded up to the 41st location. Okay, so, if, if, so this is, uh, we got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Our 41st location is going to be 481.9. So that is the 75th percentile. And then lastly, it says, what is the IQR? IQR, the formula is right there. It's just going to be your Q3 minus Q1. So our Q3 is 481.9. Our Q1 is 390.5. So let's take 481.9 minus 390.5 and we get 91.4 as our IQR. Okay, we have a data set, uh, n equals to 117, which means we have 117 values. And um, we want to find p sub 96, which is going to be the 96th percentile. All right, so the, to find the value uh, corresponding to a percentile, we're going to use a locator index formula, which is k divided by 100 times n where k is a percentile and n is the total number of values. If l is a decimal, you always round up. So in this case, our k is going to be 96 because we want to find the 96 percentile, and our n is going to be 117 because we, we have 117 values total as stated up there. So our locator index formula, l, 
is going to be our k, which is 96 over 100 times our n, which is 117. And all we have to do is we have to plug this into a calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take 96 over 100 times n, which is 117. And we get 112.32. Our locator index is going to be 112.32. Now normally, we would round this to 112. However, only for locator indexes, if L is a decimal, we're always going to round up. So this is actually going to get rounded up to the 113th location. And that's your L. So L is going to be 113. L, your locator index, when rounded up, is going to get rounded up to 113. Now let's find the 113th location. I'm going to count backwards since 113 is very close to the end. So that's 117, that's 116, that's 115, that's 114. And right there, this is the 113th location, which is 53.4. Okay, here we want to find the 40th percentile of the data shown. So uh, the formula to find uh, the locator index is going to be k over 100 times n, where k is a percentile and n is a total number of values. In this case, we want to find the 40th percentile, which means um, our k is going to be 40. It's 40th percentile. And n, how many values do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 values. So let's plug this into our formula. Our locator index is going to be k, which is 40, divided by 100 times 15. Now, if you plug this into a calculator, you're going to get our locator index to be 6. Now, something interesting happens. When L is a whole number, if L is a decimal, you would just round up. But if L is a whole number, we take the average of the values at the Lth and the L plus first location. Okay, so what does that mean? That means we want to find the value at the sixth location, and then we want to, want, want to find the value at the seventh location. This only happens when L turns out to be a whole number. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Our sixth location is going to be 13.6. And then we always take the one to the right of it or next to it. The seventh location is going to be 17. And in order to find the average of the sixth and seventh location, we're going to add the sixth location, which is 13.6, plus the seventh location, which is 17. And we're going to be dividing that by two. So you can use your favorite calculator. I'm going to use Desmos. Um, we have 13.6 plus 17, divide that whole thing by 2, and I get 15.3. So my 40th uh, percentile is going to be 15.3. So piece of 40, or my 40th percentile, is going to equal to 15.3. All right, we want to find p sub 17. So uh, the formula for the locator index is k over 100 times n, where k is a percentile and is a total number of values. We want to find the 17th percentile. So our k is going to be 17. In our n, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28. We have a total of 28 values. So our locator index is going to be 17 divided by 100 times 28. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. We have 17 divided by 100 times 28. Oops. And that is 4.76.